Hello crafters and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as you already saw in the picture and in the title, I'm going to be showing you how I did this. Not really showing you how to do it, more how I did it. So I actually still have the, what was the inside of this. I'm just making a mess over here. My original idea, it was still Cuphead related, but King Dice actually has like a circular nose, so I thought that this would be him, basically. That I would do his face right here, and then that the rest of it would be the rest of his head. It turned out that that wasn't gonna work out. His eyebrows and his mouth come like, come out above the cube, the square shape, and yeah, I'm just gonna put a picture up. I was like, that's not gonna work for this. So, but I still really wanted to stick with the Cuphead theme, which is why I just went ahead and did all of this stuff, but now I just have this little one and I'm not completely sure what to do with it. So if you have any if you have any ideas, let me know. So I started out with using that stencil to the right to trace a circle on the surface of the cube on every single one so that I can draw the characters inside of the circle. I just thought that that would look nicer and more clean and uniform as opposed to just drawing them on the square. And then I tested to see what would work better, either a colored pencil or a regular pencil. And I feel like they both did really well and erased really well, but the colored pencil looked a little bit cleaner to me. And I chose this really random selection of bosses. Um, I thought that the moon looks, I still don't know their names. Um, she looked really cool to me in her last um, transformation. So I decided to start with her. And then I just wanted to keep that going, so I drew the bee and then the flower, like, looking really angry too. And then just in contrast to that, I decided to draw the onion crying. So here I'm just testing out to see how I wanted to do this exactly. At first I was going to use acrylic paints, but then I decided not to because I didn't have... One, my hand is not steady at all. So I found that it would be more of a challenge to use paints um, and I would have to use a small paintbrush and two, I don't have small paint brushes so I was going to have to go out and buy some and then it's like I like to use the cheaper ones but some of them the little hairs keep coming out so yeah I haven't found one that I really like a brand that I really like. So I didn't want to have to struggle with that on top of the fact that I don't think I have that many paint colors or enough to like what I would need to color these guys in. And then I remembered that I have a buttload of markers. Um, the majority of the markers I have are that off-brand Ohuhu. Ohuhu. And then I have a few Copics and um, you're going to see eventually whenever I draw the background of the, or whenever I color in the background to the moon, I feel like that blue just pops. Like it just looked gorgeous and it made me absolutely hate how the other characters turned out. I really liked how the bee and the moon turned out, especially because of the background. And then this guy that I'm working on here, the flower, um, I didn't really like how he turned out. And then I didn't like how the onion turned out either. I, I don't know. I feel like I just didn't draw them that well to begin with and then when I colored them in and colored the backgrounds I ended up not liking how they turned out either like I didn't try really hard with the gradient um I don't know I didn't really know what I was doing I didn't plan it very well I just kind of went with it and recorded and then hoped for the best as far as as the brands of markers that I'm using. Like I said, I have that Ohuhu brand. I have a few Copics, the Prismacolor Scholar markers, and then I have a few of these brushables. Um, yeah, so, so I used a variety of colors. I think that these, the one that I'm using here, the brushables, that one did much better with like, after I let it dry on the wood, I could go over it again and it would actually darken the color as opposed to the other markers, I feel like when I would go over uh, one part two times, like it didn't really work out very well. 
like as far as trying to do shading and stuff like that um so yeah i really think that it looked weird when it was just the marker but adding the pen i feel like just made it just really pop really really nicely and i didn't know what i was going to do for the background of the cube either so my husband told me to just paint it yellow and I was like, yeah, that's cool. I'll paint it yellow. And I decided to go with acrylic paint for the background because I knew that it would be a different shade than all the yellows I was going to use in the drawings and um, in the drawings. And that way it wouldn't all blend together. Uh, so for the whites, like for the teeth and the eyes, I just used a white colored pencil. The first, um, <clears throat> at first I used a white faber castell pencil and then i used this white prismacolor and the prismacolor was so much whiter and brighter on the wood as opposed to the faber castell one so with this onion i was just showing you a quick example again as to what it looks like before you add the outline and i feel like it looks terrible without the outline and then adding the outline just really helps out a lot so i ended up adding an outline um, around the circle too. I wasn't planning on that, but I feel like it made it look so much better and Yeah, the moon and the bee were my favorites and the other two look like crap So they will be facing the wall the entire time <laughs> I don't think this is completely done yet. I'm gonna go Back with colored pencils and maybe some white acrylic paint for like some highlights and then possibly add a Mod Podge glaze to finish it off just to seal in the color and stuff All right, but that is it for this week. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and my terrible playing. I'm not, I'm not good at Cuphead, but I'm, but I'm not bad either. So I don't know. Um. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time. Now I have to pick all of this up. All right, so here's the gameplay. I was thinking about adding this in a separate video, but um, I don't know. I decided to just attach it to this because I was doing a Cuphead themed craft. So I was like, eh, why not? So I usually suck at these flying ones, but for some reason I was actually advancing um, a lot on this level. And I think that that is because I was playing on the computer. Um, I was using the controller. I don't know how people use the keyboard to play. That is just way too hard for me. But I think that having a smaller screen really helped as opposed to using like our TV. But I usually suck and would have died by now on this level. But obviously here I'm doing, um, if I do say so myself, I'm doing rather well. Yeah, so I finally used this power up and then I crash into that stupid purple airplane instead of hitting her. <laughs> yeah, that, that made me mad. I did that a couple of times, actually. I feel like the thing about Cuphead is you either love it or you hate it. I love the game. I think it's awesome. Um, and the only reason I ever hated it was because we would be stuck for so long on certain levels and... I am such a sore loser, like really bad. Like my husband and I played Mario Party once, just once, and he never wanted to play with me again because I'm such a sore loser. And then I ended up winning the game in the end. I don't know how. I was losing everything, but I, I guess I had the more, more points or something, but he never wanted to play with me again after that. But with Cuphead, uh, we were stuck forever. Like we were, we just play under my um, gamer tag because I was advancing more than he was but when it comes to the flying ones he ended up having to do all of these for me because I suck at them um, but yeah we were stuck forever on that stupid dragon and then finally one day just hap I just happened to beat it that was like one of my only few kills in this game but as far as this chick goes Yep, I never beat her.
This one was another one of my favorite levels that I found pretty fun to do. Um, right now we're currently on the very last part where you're fighting the devil after you beat King Dice. And we got so lucky. Um, we It like glitched when we were fighting King Dice. So you know how he sends out those little, that little card deck. Um, I don't have the recording for this video. It, it is somewhere on our computer, but anyway, yeah, my husband was fighting King Dice and then we got to the very end and then it was that part where you actually fight the, like, fl the flashcards, the deck of cards that come out. They came out once and then my husband was just shooting at him continuously and he just never sent out the cards again. And so I'm, I'm guessing that was some sort of a glitch. Um, because we beat King Dice like on our first try, which I thought was insane and really cool and really lucky because I don't know how many times the game glitched where we were, uh, there would be levels that we would beat after, you know, struggling with them, but it wouldn't count it. So we would have to redo the level. So, um, after those little annoying glitches, it was pretty awesome to get a glitch where we could just not work as hard. Okay, that, that sounds really, really bad. But you know, it's annoying and and that was cool that we didn't have to fight King Dice as long as I thought we would have to. But we're currently on the uh, on the very last level, so hopefully we can beat it eventually. And then once we finally beat it, then we'll probably get the expansion pack with, what's her name is Chalice. Anyway, that is pretty much it for the gameplay. I do have more clips. Um, I had like 40 minutes of playtime recorded, but I didn't want this to be a 40 minute video. So um, I'm just gonna leave you guys with that. And I hope that you enjoyed the video, at least some portion of it. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all next time.